All right, another day, another doodle. Here we have pages 23 and 24 of Day Fever, the little comic I'm working on. And once again, it's really just a series of lines put together in a loose fashion on the paper. I'm wearing socks right now, a hoodie, and pants, and it messed me up a little bit and discouraged me a little bit that they're all almost the same kind of charcoal gray color, except the socks do have kind of a, a, a red and a lighter gray accent on the bottom. Also, I don't have any pets here, but I went over to someone's house the other night um, who had pets, just like a dog, like a regular looking dog, not a particularly hairy dog, but I'm wearing the same socks. I guess that was yesterday. I'm wearing the same socks yesterday and there's still dog fur all over the bottom of my socks. I think, I think once you have an indoor pet like that, you just don't really realize that sort of thing anymore, or it's just part of life. And it's just, it's just fine. I mean, it's not like game breaking, you know, it's not life changing. It's just kind of weird that my socks have an extra layer of fluff on them now. All this fur and I don't, and I don't own a lint roller. Maybe they're just constantly lint rolling. Is That's what, you know, those things, the little sticky things you can take off. And I don't, I mean, I'm saying I don't own a lint roller because I don't have a dog. I don't usually have this problem. Maybe I should have a lint roller on standby just for when I visit people with pets. It was a nice dog. It was a nice dog. Uh, his name was Hayes. Apparently there's a president named Hayes. Maybe is Alfred B. Hayes? Maybe, maybe not. Could have been Jonathan F. Hayes? Hmm. Mm. Not sure. I don't know why they named him after, after Hayes, but it was a nice dog. I petted him and patted him and gave him a little scratches and scratches behind the ears. And in return, he left fur on the floor, which I swiffered up with my socks. It was good. Also, it started getting cold here. It went below freezing. Um, m my tendency is to kind of layer up instead of wear big puffy coats most of the time. Also, I have to sneeze right now. Do you guys do the thing where you look at a bright light when you have to sneeze? I'm looking at the only light in the room that's on right now. It's pretty bright. I think it's working. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'll have to turn that noise down. It made a really big spike in the audio recording. Excuse me. Bless me. Hmm, bless you. Blessings for everybody. All right. Well, anyways... Um, I was pretty happy with how this doodle turned out. This, uh, on the left, I really get my left and right mixed up sometimes. It's almost a 50-50 chance, and, but I, I kind of throw the 50-50 chance off and I skew it because I overthink it. And I think whenever I'm trying to get the right and left correct, I think about how often I've gotten it wrong in the past. And so then... It makes me over overanalyze it, and then I get wrong because I'm thinking about it too hard instead of just going with my... I mean, that's one of those things you should almost know second nature, right and left. But so many times I'm trying to give someone directions in the car, and I say the wrong thing. I say right, or I say left when it should be the other way around. And I'm totally, totally surprised and bewildered by why they're turning the wrong direction. I don't even realize that I said the wrong way. Oh, oh, so on the left side of the page here, um, <clears throat> there you can see part of the part of the comic there where something is happening. And then on the right side of the page, you can see another part of the comic it continues there where a whole something else is happening. I really do enjoy drawing these weird little architectural things. I don't get too caught up in the in like perspective, right? You can do one point perspective, two point perspective. Um, you know, you can do like vanishing points and lines and all a horizon and stuff like that. I really could do that. I could be much more intentional about it, but I just kind of wing it and go with my gut. There's probably like five different vanishing points here. It's probably, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense if you scoped it all out, right? Architecturally or whatever, but it works. You can look at it and 
even if it didn't work and it looked really wonky, I would also be okay with that. So everything's fine, right? All right, see y'all later. Goodbye, have a good one.